Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for confirming that we are actually on Facebook Live. We we're having a moment there. It's a little scary. Hi, everybody. I'm Jenny Bruce, aka Ghost, aka Craytown. This is my beautiful friend, Matt Anthony, producer of many things, um, personally, ghosts and Firefly in a Jar. Um, and he is a brilliant composer and guitar player and an inter <laughs> interpretive dancer, but we're not gonna do any of that tonight. I'm sorry, he's feeling a little shy and doesn't feel it's like- early. It's a little too early in the evening for the interpretive dancing to happen, but we're gonna play some songs for you. How's that? He's good? What do you so think, would Matt? you like to play? Shall we start where we started with uh, the backlit bottles? Oh yeah. And the drinks that we need and haven't had? <laughs> <laughs> you guys doing okay, peoples of the Facebook? I hope so. It has been, the last time I played a gig was October 2020? Yeah. With this man right here, so. We are actually, let me just situate you. This is where the magic happens. This is Matt Anthony's recording studio. There you go, he does that all the time while he's dancing and recording. Interpretive dance, of course, <laughs> that's part of it. And this is called Engine Sound. This is, it is called Engine Sound, right? Guys, it's been a long day. All right, I'm just gonna shut up and play some music. This is Backlit Bottles from, what was that album called? Firefly in a Jar, produced by this fellow right here. Silent pages Staring me down Selling me down Sidewalk beneath my feet Against the light I cross the street Night is whispering in my ear Stop, this is only fear Ice in a glass Music to my soul Drink and a dream Keeping me whole. If I could write a song, this is where it starts. Backlit bottles and broken hearts. In the mirror, I'm the stranger staring back at me. Bartenders pouring. Like a boy with a bucket filling up the sea. Underwater I breathe in, beaten down on paper thin. Up above I see a hand, but I'm not looking for dry land. Ice in a glass, music to my soul. Drink and a dream are keeping me whole. If I could write a song.
her smiling. It's such a jaunty little tune. It's actually a very sad song. <laughs> but I remember when we were recording that, I remember I came in with this sort of gloomy idea, you know, it's back with bottles and drinking to <clears throat> try to move forward in life and wipe away the, wash away the pain, drink away the pain. And Matt's got this like, this, this funny little drum machine going and I was like, oh, this is cool. And somehow, Jaunty, it? It's jaunty and I love it because it's like, it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite songs. Thank you, Matt. Um, you, you. So, peoples, um, let's, shall we stick with the Firefly in a Jar sure. motif and, and uh, play Firefly in a Jar? How's that, guys? Uh, I can nice. sort of see you. Hey, look, Steve O'Reilly's with us. Hello. Hey. Hi, Steve. What's up, Steve? What's up? <clears throat> yes. Um, I have to remember how to play all these things, and I'm borrowing Matt's really sexy guitar, but it's got much heavier strings than I'm used to. I'll play with. Anyway. That's okay. There will be drinks. <laughs> there will be. Um, Firefly in a jar. I 
I'm not. So we're here tonight, and I, without my cell phone, which is my brain, I, I'm trying to remember the name of this specific event. This is to benefit um, schools. This is beautiful Jay Bird Phillips, um, who is, has put this together. She's a producer and um, a musician herself, and a promoter, and a writer, and basically does everything under the sun, but has made it her mission, yes, Joanne, um, to fund schools, um, public schools, not fund them, to provide musical instruments um, for public schools and keep music programs alive, which God we know is life-saving and important work. So thank you so much. Um, I will, Joanne, if, you can, if you're there, if you want to, Joanne Phillips, there you are, I see you. Um, please feel free to put information about the organization in the chat so people can know about it because my brain is broken. Um, we're gonna we're gonna segue through the life and times of Jennifer T. Bruce, and we're gonna <laughs> do. Oh. Um, yeah, no, it could get ugly, so we're gonna skip a lot of things, but we'll jump to some. Uh, what should we do? Should we do uh, Soul and Fire? Do we wanna pick it up? Should we do a little Me and Lizzie? Should we pick it up? We'll do a little Soul on Fire. Okay, let's. Is anyone Soul on Fire? It is. Put it out. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. I've been up since six o'clock this morning, which is not abnormal. That is when I get up every day for work. Capo dos, please drop D. So Matt and I have rehearsed approximately what, like 15 minutes before this, because professional. Oh look, it's like I have your head on my hand. <laughs> He's a professional. Totally professional. So professional. Um, can you hear those fire trucks? James Adamo. What's up? Worshipping. <laughs> we are worshipping. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, it's the same key as the, the siren outside. Which is perfect. This is a song about walking around New York and all the crazy shaboobai that you see. I don't know if I can curse. <laughs> <laughs> is this like regulated by the FCC or not? All right. I'm trying to work. <laughs> People, there's music going on in here. Or that's what I'm trying anyway. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Yes, this event is the 10th anniversary of the Long Beach Rocks New York Rock Music Festival. Thank you. I can, there's no way I can commit that to memory, Joanne. I apologize. There's just, it's not going to happen. I'm not even sure what this guy's name is, so. All right. <laughs> I don't know what my name is. Soul, soul. Soul is on fire. Pretty girl hanging by the post office door. Got a hula hoop bicycle. Couldn't be higher. the floor takes a look at the pretty girl another soul on fire little japanese ballerina lost her mind now she's dancing on the train like a bird on a live wire young man Got it for 
bicycle. <laughs> James. I'm sorry. <laughs> Praise him. Yes. Matt is worshiping the Dark Lord. Alright. Pretty girl hanging by the post office door. Got a hula hoop bicycle. Couldn't be higher. Old man barely can shuffle across the floor. Takes a look at the pretty girl. Another soul. friends out there this is like the worst invention ever <laughs> I can see myself there's words scrolling around I'm like yeah it's hard to focus okay focusing in though oh we didn't run this one um, blue angel and I think it's in the key of C does this seem like it's in the key? it's fourth capo do you know it no go ahead key of C. I, I think so I don't know Four. Yeah. I don't some of you may know I don't speak music. I play by ear. No, I actually really have no idea what chords I'm playing ever, which Matt will attest to. We're in terrible shape. Hold on. Oh, 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 I always do that. Drop D. How many times? I'm turning 55 in a week. <laughs> and, I, and I have done that every gig I've ever played. And I have forgotten to retune. Yeah, it's close, right? Good enough for jazz, I do say. I'm allowing Matt to tune up. Thank you guys for showing up. It's really awesome of you to pop in here on a Thursday night. I hope you've got a cocktail and um, you're sitting somewhere comfy and cozy. And uh, I'm really grateful. And thank you, Matt, for letting me do this here. Party on. So, Blue Angel.
Someday you've got to let go Cause safe is a word you may never, 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 never know Matt. I don't think Matt's ever played that song. That was beautiful. Very lovely. Thank you. I need a sip of water. <clears throat> Hi, Kathy. Oh my goodness. You sweet human beings for showing up. Thank you. Mm. Last weekend, when I was supposed to be practicing, I actually, <laughs> <laughs> well, there was plenty of time to practice before that, but, um, I had the sad but wonderful uh, privilege of being with my family in Denver for um, to say goodbye to my uncle Dell, and um, it was a really meaningful trip. It was like um, there we were all obviously very sad about my uncle, and it was it was just a very moving time to remember how important it is to focus on living and on life and on the joy. My uncle lived life fully on his terms. He was a badass, <laughs> serious badass. Um, just, you know, really lived life fully and enjoyed it. And it was just such a reminder of that. And there was so much grieving going on and so much of that grieving was about even more than just losing him, just the past few years that have been so tough. Um, it was really good. So that was more important than rehearsing. And that's, that was why I said that. Also, I played a song. Uh, I played my song home, which I'm not going to play tonight. I don't have a keyboard to deal with that. I know there's one right behind me, but it's not happening. Um, and, you know, because Ghost is my alias, I just have to bring, tell this little anecdote. Halloween, not so far away. So uh, I sit, sit down at the keyboard. It's kind of janky. It doesn't have a, a sustained pillow or anything. I'm thinking, oh boy, this is going to be tricky. And I go sit down in my seat and I hear a bonk on the keyboard. I was like, hmm. I thought maybe that was somebody's cell phone, a notification. I was like, whatever, that was weird. And then a few minutes go by and I hear another plonk, different note. I was like, ooh, is the keyboard. I was like, that's bad, this keyboard's broken. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play this broken keyboard and this is not gonna go well. Nothing happens for a while. Someone gets up to speak, very moving. Everyone's very emotional. Bonk, two keys play at the same time. This happened five times that I counted, four times that everybody else heard. It was spooky. That's crazy. It was totally spooky. Called the owner of the keyboard. She's like, that has never happened. This keyboard does not play by itself. So I think my Uncle Dell was in that room with us and he was like, yes, I will be heard. So there's a little tale from beyond. Um, I think we have two more songs. We're gonna play some uh, ghosty stuff, right? Did we forget anything? There's something we were gonna do that I forgot about. And of course, you know where my set list is on my second brain, which I can't look at right now. So me and Lizzie. Oh, me and Lizzie. Yeah, I could do that one. I could do that one. Or should we do that last? Yeah, let's, let's play something like spooky. Let's, since I just talked about ghosts. Spooky. Let's bring the, the spook. <laughs> let's bring it. This is haunted. Night is coming. Wait, hold on. That is, those are the words, right? One more time. Yeah. Sorry. Night is coming to rob me blind. My heart is humming. No peace of mind. I feel you all around me all the time.
Speaking of haunted, I saw you up there, Bobby Caputo. I don't know if you're really there, but if you saw me almost having a hysterical laughing fit during Soul on Fire, you're the reason why. <laughs> Remember that gig with Amy Spies? I guess out it was in, I guess you're in from Oregon, right? Was it in Eugene? And oh my God, I don't know who started laughing, Amy or me first, but we couldn't get through the set. I think we had to stop. I think we just had to stop. We were like in the middle of a song. I don't remember if it was one of hers and then I couldn't sing Soul on Fire. It was like, it was, I think it was Soul on Fire. I have a video, I believe you shared that with me, of me having a hysterical laughing fit and crying through the song. Um, professionals. Always. So, always professionals. As I hike up my dress, let me do that. That's very professional too. <laughs> so, um, we've got two more songs. What do you guys think? Back to Life, Me and Lizzie. I don't even know what time it is. Does anyone know what time? Do you know what time it is? And yes, Bernard, I'm 55 years old. Thanks for putting that in there. Just to make sure that, thanks, I'm 55. I'm not. 7.30? 7.35. That's 7.35. Okay, so we're gonna just do one, one, one. Yeah. Um, what should we do? Let's do back, back, which, I don't know. Do back to life. Back to life? Back, back to what life. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? The capo one. Uh, oh yeah, mm -hmm. let's start. Capo one. Thank you so much, Joanne, for including me in this festival. Back to life, Bernard says. All right. Yeah, well, since, you know, since I'm 55, better get back to life while I can, right? <laughs> I'm actually not 55 yet. Take it slow, take it slow. Got, got another week of 54-ishness. Okay. How's the song go again? Yes. Can you play us like some yes. ACDC? <laughs> Please, God, <laughs> just play. No. I can't remember how it started. It just starts on the like. like. Right. When I told you I didn't have faith in anything, I lied. When I said I was giving up on my dreams, well, I tried. You just wouldn't let me be. You're seeing something I can't see. My whole world freezes and I 
can't breathe when you look at me i believe i believe i believe i can feel my heart dancing like it's new year's eve you brought me back to life now i guitarist, producer, engine sound, where we are. Thank you so much, Joanne. Thank you, peoples, for tuning in. You are the bestest of the best. Matt and I are going to get back to writing a song. That was originally why I came in here tonight. We've got songs to write and more music to make. Um, thank you so, so much again, Joanne. Everybody follow her. And um, James Adamo, love you too. Jody, love you. Bernard Adnay, merci, je t'aime. Share, oh my gosh, share it, hello. Hi, goodbye everybody. I wanna say hello before I say goodbye. Daphne, word, Daphne, I miss you. Oh my goodness, no way, people, this is so sweet. All right, guys, thank you so much. See you soon, I hope, in the reels, in the real world. Bye. Yeah, back to work, bye.